Hello everyone and welcome to the FM Network. I am Dark Horse FM and today I'm here on the channel as a guest creator bringing you a possession based lower league tactic for the Vanarama Conference League which I tested out with Blith Spartans. I titled the tactic Rex and Lola because I actually had a plan to use Rexham to test out this tactic but then when I realized that Rexham had already been in they've already been predicted to finish first in their division i wanted to try it out with someone that had less with a team that had less expectations really so that's why i picked blitz spartans actually test out the tactic and they are in the vanorama conference north i think either north or south the rexalona tactic is a simple 43 it's a tiki taka system basic is based off the initial guardiola philosophy that he had at barcelona so it's a recreation of that tactic but somewhat simplified to work for the lower league sides in the Vanderama conference league so that's basically how the tactic is set up so remember if you like what you see be sure to pop on onto my channel at dark horse fm on youtube you can actually find contents relating to lower league saves football manager for hidden teams fm tactics tactic testing and tactic saves really for football manager 2022 and other football manager games as well so if you like this content remember to subscribe to my channel as well and also hit the like button and to get notified on. and also make sure to subscribe to the fm network youtube page so let's get into the tactic then So like I said guys, it's a simple 4-3-3 designed to play possession based football. You can see the player roles, two wing backs, the ball, ball winning midfielder in defensive midfield position and I'm using a central midfielder. I'm going to explain that one. I'm going to explain the reason why I'm using a central midfielder much later during the video when we're looking at the tactic in detail. And these are the team instructions. We're going to go into the tactic in detail but I'm also first I'm going to show you the results of what we're able to achieve with Blade Spartans using this tactic and then we're going to i'm also going to show you guys a tiny little tweak i did in my team's training session particularly individual training that actually helped this tactic work a lot better using this blitz spartan team and you can apply this into your saves as well so you can see how you can get better results using pre um, basically any tactic that you're actually working with so we did get knocked out from the fa cup and the english fa trophy the fa cup we got knocked out in the fourth round both competition we actually got knocked out in the fourth round i think that kind of also helped us have a good season with the tactic as well because not when you're not worried about other comp competitions you can actually focus on playing the league so i think for playing when you're playing in lower leagues you can go as far as you can in cups but if you get knocked out from the cup don't really see it as a bad thing it's actually quite a good thing because you can focus more on the league and see how far you can go looking at the national league north division then we made it to the final against york the current holders are field i think yeah we made it to the final against you but then we beat them one no it was actually a tight game but while more interested in looking at the league table and where we finished we played 42 games we lost 10 times but then we had a goal difference of 37 and then racked up 70, um, 78 points we could have done a lot better if we didn't lose that many games and then drop that many games in the, during the season but considering that blitz patterns we were predicted to finish in 18th or 19th place it's finishing in fact qualifying to the or winning the playoffs and then getting promoted to the Vanarama national league is actually a big win in itself so also if you are playing in the lower leagues do not worry much about losing that many games because you will lose games in the lower leagues just try and win as many as you can and do your best to try and push forward and then get rack up those points avoid draws as much as possible and then just try and win more games and then you can obviously find yourself in the top side of the league and then you can might you might run in for promotion and then you can win the or you can also win the league if possible the most goals in the league came from field they scored 90 goals but then blitz spartans we had 83 goals one shot of spending more even though we actually beat spending more in the second to the last game of the season but where our emphasis is is on possession and how you, how much we're able to control games you can see that we had the highest amount of possession with 58 percent ball possession and it's actually quite simple how we're able to achieve 58 percent ball possession unlike what i used to do before when i was always trying to win or trying to dominate games with high possession and then I, whatever it, made my, it didn't matter what i did i didn't really have that much high possession but i'm going to show you how this tactic was able to actually rack up that much control of our games even though we we're the team that was predicted to finish like 19th in the league best car pass completion as well we were right up there as well and i think this was also down to the player familiarity in the tactic and kind of helped us get much when it comes to dribbling i don't really expect us to be there that much because we weren't dribbling as much and it's also something that helps you keep possession of the ball a lot using this tactic 
Looking at player stats, I didn't really see my team rack up that many goals among every single player in the team or let's say there wasn't that one particular player that scored 30 plus goals a season but then Dan Maguire which is our main striker actually had 15. But then if we look at the player stats in detail, we did have more than one player scoring double figures in the league which kind of helped us out. I don't know why my game isn't clicking. Here we go. Okay, Dan Maguire, Corey McCune and JJ O'Donnell. They actually scored double figures in the league and it kind of helped us. And I'm, pro I'm sure most of our other players jumped in with goals as well. So looking at the score, we can see the amount of players that did score that many goals. You can see that Corey McCune, Dan Maguire, O'Donnell, like we mentioned, Luis McCall, they also scored double figures. And then the goals kind of tailored us towards the defensive areas where you can see that most of our defenders had one one goal each but most of the time these players well, they did the job for us scoring the important goals that we needed instead of scoring that many goals that we ended up losing the game that wasn't relevant the important thing was actually score the one goal we needed to win the game so going into the tactic then what i had was to have a flat back four a trinity in midfield and then the front three as well but you notice that i'm using a trek artista in attack so this player Probably wasn't in the box all the time like he needed to be, but it's something that actually worked out for us in, in confusing the opposition when we were trying to break teams down. So I had a sweeper keeper on defend duty, no instructions. When it come to, I don't think I had any player instructions in this tactic, I have to admit. Wing back on support duty, blank, ball playing defender, and then one central defender. This is always my go-to option, having one ball playing defender that is more adventurous, more creative. And then one central defender that can actually be the one that, ha that is the calm influence in defense. And then we have the wing back on attack duty, no instructions for him as well. Looking at the ball winning midfielder on defend, also no instructions. The central midfielder was the one player that did have instructions. And I told you guys I was going to explain why I included these instructions. What I had in mind was for this player to play like a roaming playmaker as well as a deep line playmaker in defense. I don't know if in midfield, I don't know if that really made much sense. The initial plan was to use a deep line playmaker here on support duty, but then I realized this player was always just here and then I had a ball with the midfield on defend duty that didn't also get forward so basically this guy was alone in with the front three so they were like four in attack but then i wanted somebody else that could be more like a box to box and then deep line playmaker and roaming playmaker this is i have to use roaming playmaker and deep line playmaker because that's where it really really that's where the emphasis is on because i wanted this player to move up and down the field while being the creative source in the team so i included the take more risks dribble more and then get further forward instruction for this central midfielder on support it is so basically he was acting like the deep line playmaker and the rubbing playmaker in our team basically and then the inside the inside forwards both of them were on attack no instructions for them whatsoever and then we had a trecartista like i mentioned no instructions for him just be just you know ghost in and around these spaces trying find pockets of space where you can create chances and then create those gaps for your teammates to play balls into you for you to try and create chances and score goals for the team instructions then i opted for a tiki taka rule of thumb basically high pressing but not so intense that it would allow the opposition be camped inside their box and play a ultra defensive style of play that's not what i was looking for so a much higher line of um, a higher defensive line and then a higher line of engagement as well that was enough and then what seems to work in this game for me is that i noticed that my defense was quite open if you were having a standard defensive line and then the ai kind of struggled when you were playing on what you were showing them to the wings so showing the opposition outside sort of helped us in this tactic playing a bit more narrow in defense and then try and block the crosses and stop those crosses because in the lower leagues the ai will always cross the ball they are the best at crossing so you have to block the crosses that's why i actually opted for the show opposition inside um show opposition outside instruction and then looking at the trigger press i actually asked my team to press more often because i didn't want them to i didn't want them to just be stagnant in there and then not engage the opposition and then I did not also want the pressing to be extreme that it was going to shatter our players physically. Type marking and offside trap were two instructions that actually worked for us defensively as well. In transition, the team was asked to only counter press. When possession was won, we were basically just asked to play normally, not try and counter the opposition and then risk losing possession in the same breath so just counter press then and then in possession the team was asked to play with a low tempo and shorter passing which is also ideal for a tiki taka system and a possession based system i didn't also include pass into space because i wanted my players to always play the ball to feet and they can also see the instruction of dribble less which just really helped us rack up a lot of possession the team was also instructed to play with walk the ball into the box instructions try and break the team down because sometimes when the opposition tries to camp and then they're being very good defensively you can actually Play intricate passes through them and try and unlock the defense 
while another instruction that i battled with which was the last one i actually included much later during the season was ask my team to be a bit more expressive and try and create out chances for themselves ideally you can take this off when your team is wasting too many chances and just ask them to play you know just play blank basically so for the training session then i did have my players do an individual training for the super keeper on defend duty that role and then the trecortista role the striker actually trained as a trecortista the wing backs as well also trained as wing backs on attack duty there's that's wing backs on the right you can see the wing back on the left hand side trained as a wing back on support most of the other roles i left them as default but i know that the key role i needed my player to train for my striker was the trecortista role so i had the striker trained us to train for all my strikers play and train as trecortistas the super keys were in the super keeper as well i had the goalkeeper trained to be a super keeper and then i had that constantly throughout the season so that kind of helped my players get familiar with the tactic and how i was supposed to play so guys that's the simple tiki taka rexalona 43 tactic created by dark horse fm it did work for blitz patterns you can try it for other lower league sides for yourself and also i kid you not you can use this with an elite side and just see how they work because the trecortista role is the role that was i have to say i was let's say it had Messi in mind when creating that role he's not really a false nine but he's not really a an out and out center forward as well so i opted for the trecortista really but you can try this with your elite site and see how the tactic works out for you and that's the summary of the tactic there are no set pieces i actually created a tactic without set pieces so you can walk you can attach your set pieces if you have them once you in, once you download the tactic and load it up for yourself you can attach your set pieces and then see how the tactic works out with your set piece routines added so that's the summary of the video guys i'm going to attach the link in the description so you can download the tactic for yourself and if you do have any comments on this video remember to leave them in the comment section down below i'm going to address those comments and also the fm network as well they're going to relay the comments or the questions to me and i'm going to give you swift answers as to how you can create the tactic and how you can tweak the tactic for yourself anyone is going to actually respond to the comment section it's really it's a really engaging community here at fm network so thanks again to the fm network for featuring me as a guest creator and please remember to subscribe to their fm network channel and once again if you like the content that you saw today remember to pop on over to my channel at dark horse fm to check out football manager content all the time so guys i'll catch you in the next video